Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. So listen, there's a lot of discourse happening on to uh, Twitter uh, or X, formerly known as Twitter, right? Uh, and it's quite interesting. Um, I want to go ahead and show you guys some TikToks and some videos that I was tagged in. And I want to get you guys' opinion. Um, let me preface this by saying that I do feel like for a few years now, um, as far as the black side of Bravo is concerned, Potomac has been at the center of the most emotional commentary, the most passionate com uh, commentary, and um, it has sparked so many debates and so much uh, back and forth, right? And personally, I do believe that it's a direct reflection of what we're watching on the TV screen. I don't feel like fans are coming out of the gate just with this crazy emotional response, right? It is a response. It's an emotional response to what people are watching on TV, right? Um, however, some of these fans, they do take things a little bit too far. They do take things a little bit too far. Um, I did see a clip from this lady, and she's talking about, oh, get the light-skinned bitches off the show. Okay, now that is crazy. That's wild, okay? Even if you feel that way, I don't think that's anything you should ever say. Uh, because, again, your message is going to be lost in translation. Um, because I do feel like she did have some valid points, but the message is lost in translation because now, instead of the focus being on colorism or what you believe to be colorism, people are now saying that you're a colorist because you're talking about some get the light skinned bitches off the show. Okay, that's that's kind of crazy, y'all. You have to admit that is kind of like, okay, what the hell? Um, but no, listen, uh, there's a lot of discourse and people are saying that people are taking it too far, but I want to know what you guys think. So listen, I was tagged in this by my friend Zach. He says it's absolutely over for the Real Housewives of Potomac. No one is saying it here, but Lassie Lace Lasse on TikTok nailed it. Bravo TV has allowed Giselle Bryant to ruin the show. It's beyond repair. So let's go ahead and see what this TikToker had to say. Okay, trigger warning. It's a lot of conversation about complexion, light skin, dark skin, race, colorism, things like that. I've tried to hold my tongue on this show, but I'm just going to unleash everything and never talk about it again because I am boycotting this show. Okay? Until Giselle Bryant is fired from this show, I will never watch it again. As light and bright as she is, she has the darkest soul. I okay, see. See, do I agree that Giselle has a dark soul? Yes. But people ain't going to listen to that part. They're going to listen to the light, bright uh, part. As light and bright as she is, you know, she has a dark soul. That was completely unnecessary. But yes, I do agree. Giselle does have a dark soul. I have ever seen in my life. I have never been more repulsed and disgusted by somebody's behavior and the enabling of such behavior that is harmful to more than one group of people giselle is evil it's almost sinister well i mean i do call her reasonable and evil or i call robin barely reasonable and i do call giselle evil so okay i do not disagree with that to watch her like <laughs> i I'm so, I've just watched part one of the reunion and I'm so triggered watching her laugh in Candace's face as Candace cries that she inflated a story about her entering into a room with Candace's husband that has now had such a significant impact on Candace's life that her husband was fired. You accused him of being a sexual predator. That is what you did and you inflated it. Let's not pretend. Let's not pretend that she didn't inflate okay, it. Okay, that's true. You did perpetuate false narratives about, you know, Chris Bessett, okay? And she is weaponizing circumstances like that against the rest of us so we can't speak up about it. You should be disgusted. She is morally repugnant. I am so appalled that you. they sat there and watched her laugh at Candace. And then on top of that, to go and blame Candace for the death threats that you received? Bitch, we noticed your Caro white skin before Candace said a damn thing. We were the ones who were saying from... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, girl. You done lost me. You lost me. When Candace first said that, she was like, you white looking woman and your proximity to whiteness and yada, yada, yada. I understood what she was saying. You're light skinned. Therefore, you have a certain privilege because of how light skinned uh, people have that proximity to whiteness. I understand that concept, but I don't understand people saying a white looking ass. I didn't understand that. And I don't understand this lady right here talking about how she looks white. Giselle doesn't look white. Does she look white? Is it the green eyes? Is it the hazel hair? 
season two or three, the colorism and the favoritism towards you and you. I cannot deal with this shit anymore. Wow. I am at my wits end. Bring it down. Calm down. Usa, honey. End with everything. Everything. From this bitch weaponizing her culture against Wendy. What? From this woman being a pathological liar who consistently antagonizes people to continue staying on the show. Are you telling me that she didn't schedule the, the, the dissimulation of her marriage so she would stay on the show? She had no other storyline. She brought her friend on the last season and now she's breaking up with her husband. Let's be so for And this person, she's a shit stirrer. I cannot... So many of these that's very true women are unsafe as I just watched Married to Medicine for the first time and I was like Okay, part two, part two, part two. We have experienced lived experiences. I am living it over and over and over again. I can't do it. I'm done. And that's the thing that the fans need to understand that this is TV, right? And I do not blame people for being triggered. I do not blame people for feeling a ways about what they see on TV because I do feel like the discourse again on social media is a direct reflection of what we're watching on television. But at the same time, you as a person need to know when to, how I tell Karen, put the bottle down, turn the TV off. You get what I'm saying? You should not allow this TV show to, you know, um, affect you in such a negative way, right? This show is toxic. Remove the- I get it. But just personal emotional management, you can't allow that. Light skinned bitches and make it a dark skinned bitch show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up, Holiday. I'm. Come again, party me. Done. This show is toxic. Remove the light skinned bitches and make it a dark skinned bitch show. No. No, 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 no. No. How Beyonce and Destiny shall say no, no, no. What do you say to drugs? Just say no. Somebody trying to stick it in? Say no. Girl, what? Girl, what? What are you talking about? No. Because again, you know, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I do agree. Ashley is a, a, a shit stirrer. I do agree. Mia do be lying. Mia be lying. Mia be, if Lizzo be eating, Mia be lying. Okay. I do agree. You know, Giselle has a dark soul, but all of that gets lost. The message gets lost because you saying very inflammatory statements like the light skinned bitches need to be off the show and they need to make this a dark skinned bitch. So like, girl, what? That's wild. That's crazy. I cannot watch the colorism. I cannot watch it. It's too... Breathe, baby. Breathe. Breathe, baby. Okay, Wusa, you know, bring it on down to the ground on this little TV show. <laughs> the issue with Potomac is when they add people, or they bring people, or they encourage storylines for entertainment and drama, it is lived experiences. It is traumas. It's, it's not just shallow, superficial issues. This is a deeper issue. It's deeper issues that are raised that have such deep roots in our culture. It hits me every time. And my trigger for this season and why I'm done forever is this woman. It's not just not Giselle, NECA. it's this woman. What NECA you do? are a Nigerian, if you are Nigerian, if you are West African, you understand the extent of what this woman did to Wendy. You know what she just did to her. Literally, when the witchcraft thing came about, I didn't really see that big of an issue with it. I mean, is it nice to accuse somebody of witchcraft or praying against you and shrines and stuff like that? Absolutely not. But at the same time, I was encouraging Wendy to be like, you know what, just, you know, let it roll off your back and just laugh at it. I mean, witchcraft, really? What is this, Sabrina the Teenage Witch? You get what I'm saying? I personally just was ignorant. I didn't realize that that was like this huge trigger for the Nigerian community. And apparently it is. All right. I can't do that. I mean, I can't watch that. I can't even, I don't even know how to explain the extent. She's, how can you do the one thing you do not do? is to accuse somebody of witchcraft in nigeria you do not accuse somebody of witchcraft you never ever people stay away from that shit people are afraid and for you to just on national tele girl your blood pressure okay your blood pressure
I'm gonna need you to, how can you say, bring it on down. And the only amount of peace, and I mean peace, you can be upset that I get peace from this, is the, the realities of the people's lives who cause the most harm, it's reflective. You reap what you sow. Look at your life. Look at your life. Look at your life. And look at your life. Look at her life. Literally, the, the evil people on this show, look at the realities of their lives. Look at you. You can't get a divorce. You can't even sustain something for yourself. You're having to go to this person who has so many seeds planted but never flourish because you will never succeed when you are like this. You, you're just a joke. I'm sorry. This woman, I don't even have... To, do I have to say anything? And you. Why do I feel like Robin just be... Robin be dragged from Timbuktu and all the way back to Potomac, child. Robin's life is a series of unfortunate events where one good thing can happen. When she starts behaving correct and starts being a decent person, her life goes well. And when she... All right, so let's read some of the comments. Somebody said, uh, Kitana said, the irony of talking about colorism, but then saying mixed and light skin or women should be off. It's like saying she... Um, or they are not black enough. It's a show. Go touch grass and stop your tantrum. TTO wrote on a side note, I'll never be this passionate about women I don't know on a show I enjoy watching. You a rookie to me said, girl, go touch grass. J Reality said, maybe some of y'all should stop watching reality shows. Seriously. Um, Hazel iGamer said, how does she say that the colorism is triggering, but then follows up by saying, remove the light skin bitches. Uh, and make it a dark skin bitch show that was wild this lady is clearly a colorist there is no such thing as reverse colorism but she may have some prejudices i'm not too sure uh she says this lady is clearly a colorist herself with her belligerent and disrespectful commentary somebody said she needs to get her life and stop watching reality tv she has deep rooted personal issues um uh, that potomac that the potomac women cannot fix mm. okay listen so do y'all know, remember last Sunday night at the reunion, um, Andy Cohen asked a question and I think it was, uh, yeah, Candace Dillard responded and basically said that she's not answering any questions from this blogger because that blogger is Robin's friend. Well, the person she was talking about allegedly was this man by the name of Alex, right? And Alex was on X last night and had a lot to say about the commentary surrounding the Real Housewives of Potomac. Now, I can't really judge the messenger. I can only judge the message because I don't know a lot about Mr. Alex here. Um, but I do know that it seems as though he is a huge fan of Robin, right? Um, he says, I would actually celebrate if they canceled Potomac. Is that because Robin allegedly got fired? He says, the fans have reached insanity drawing comparisons to Emmett Till. I haven't seen that, but okay. In order to defend a white man, I'm assuming he's talking about Chris Bassett, saying that city winery, Candace, should have laughed at Giselle crying about her dad's death since Giselle laughed at her crying over a person she said was a fraud. On my show, she said that. Some of you parade around on your pages and YouTube channels pretending that you're anti-bullying, but then go on to say the most vile things about the women you dislike. Oh, Wow. All the while telling others how wrong they are for criticizing the ones you do like. You're unserious people. There's a literally no point in trying to watch multiple channels because they all regurgitate the same talking points, conspiracy theories, and a rhetoric. You can't even have a regular debate because you're dead set on being right and thinking you're morally above everyone else just because you think you're defending the helpless. Not calling Wendy and uh, 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 Candace helpless. Um... Meanwhile, these women are getting big checks to read each other down and be messy. They are, but they're not getting a check to lie and defame and make criminal accusations, right? Instead of realizing that you sit on these apps pretending that Giselle Robin or whoever are your ops and you have personal beef with them, calling them all types of colorists while the women you defend go on public platforms saying how their castmates are in fact not colorists, then have the nerve to laugh and have a key when non-black fans make disparaging uh, comments about NECA's appearance, all because she didn't align with the women uh, you wanted her to. If those same comments were directed at Candace or Candle, which is Wendy, then you'd be rage tweeting about colorism. So weird how it's only colorism if it's directed at certain people, but not others. Fans have run this show all the way down to the ground. 
And a lot of you have deep rooted hate for certain complexions, but you project that onto others and claim they are the ones who have issues with skin tone. He says, it's you. The skin complexion on this emoji is really bright. But no, I'm just being silly. But listen, these are the responses. And listen, I don't know this man. I don't know his history. I do know that, you know, uh, he's a fan of Robin, but that's all I know. So I'm not disagreeing with any of that. If that's his opinion, that's his opinion. I'm just here to read it and read the responses, okay? Um, somebody, the DMV GMC said, you post more than anyone else I see here on Twitter. Do you count yourself amongst the out of control fans? He responded, Mr. Alex did and said, am I comparing a white man to Emmett Till or telling people to laugh at someone dying? I think the point went over your head and that's okay. Okay. Uh, somebody wrote, you're a fair skinned man talking about colorism when the people you're defending are indeed colorists. I don't agree with death threats and every fan takes it too far, including you. I haven't heard you say Cal was wrong for saying Candace deserves to be hit. Alex responded to that and said, interesting. I was one of the people who called for Bird Box uh, to be fired, who I think is uh, Monique, and for putting her hands on Candace and called for Mia to be fired for hitting Wendy with her purse. But carry on. Uh-uh, why Mia don't get a, a nickname? Why Mia don't get a nickname? Georgia responded and said, they are hypocrites. I'm assuming the fans. Today, I watched a YouTuber say he knows for a fact that Robin is feeding you info and you do her dirty work. Meanwhile, he drags Giselle in every video he posts. Just pathetic. Alex says, very pathetic. Robin has never fed me any info or spoiled the show for me. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. It is nasty on Twitter today. It is nasty. The rhetoric is so nasty. But ultimately, I blame the TV show for this because, you know, the discourse on social media is a response it's a response to what people are watching and there's not a lot of positivity being shown on this show so that's only going to reflect in the commentary right i said on twitter the discourse on social media is a direct reflection of what's being displayed on television the show is dark witchcraft colorism death threats false accusations sexual assault physical violence these themes don't exactly encourage a uh, lighthearted commentary. Chris Evans wrote, except the colorism conversation started on social media first, not the show. The only person who ever made a negative comment about skin uh, complexion is in fact Candace, in which someone responded, this is false. These ladies have been discussing race and skin color since season one or two when uh, Katie was still on. Not sure which season you started watching. Mm. And that's one of the reasons why um, you know, I did not get into uh, Giselle or did not get into Real Housewives of Potomac um, in the first season because it was a lot of, well, you're biracial and you're black and you're light skinned and you're this and you're that. And how black are you? And how black are you? And I'm the white version of you and I'm the black version of you. If you know where that's from, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, let's see if I can read any more responses. Um, uh, Alicia said, thank you, Aaron, for bringing some logic to the situation. People acting like the lady is overreacting. She did overreact a little bit, a little bit, sis, a little bit. She had some valid points, but it was kind of like, it, it was a little unhinged. She said a lot of unhinged, uh, things. Um, but she says that if we aren't, as if we aren't witnessing the things she says play out on the show, it's bizarre. Somebody said, well, if the show gets canceled, let's thank the fans. Okay. Um, Madam Whistledown said, then they blame the fans and Twitter for talking about it as soon as someone made. Then they blame the fans and Twitter for talking about it as if someone made Giselle target the brown girl season over season or say that Chris made her go into a hotel room after knowing her staff left. We see the pattern, but should ignore for jokes and shade be effing for real and then somebody wrote why don't y'all change the channel that's funny listen if it's bothering you that much you should definitely turn off the tv um but then again it's like i can't blame people for feeling a ways about what they witness on the tv show um we are witnessing what we are witnessing right y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below it is just way too deep at this point like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to create a great time